Hello, everyone. We're from Singapore International School of Bangkok, and we're Maroon Four. Today, we're going to be reading about Bear has a story to tell. I'm Tawan from Year Nine Joy. I am Vincent. I am Tai. And I'm Hero. It was almost winter, and Bear was getting sleepy. But first, Bear had a story to tell. Mouse, would you like to hear a story? Asked a bear with a yawn. I'm sorry, Bear. Said Mouse. But it's almost winter, and I have many seeds to gather. Bear helped Mouse find seeds on the forest. When they had finished, Mouse said, "See you soon." And tunnel underground to wait for spring. Bear took slow, sleepy steps through the forest floor. Fallen leaves crunched under his feet. Oh, hello, duck," said Bear. "Would you?" you? Sitting down to rest his tired legs, would you like to hear a story? I'm sure, Bear. Said Duck. But it's almost winter, and I'm getting ready myself. I will miss you. Said Bear. He raised a paw to check the direction of the wind. I will miss you too. Said Duck and. Off he flew. The sun was heavy and hung low in the sky. Bear's eyelids were getting heavy too. He counted colors to stay awake. Three pink clouds, two red leaves, one green. Oh, frog! Hello, said Bear. Would you like to hear a story? I'm sorry, Bear. Said Frog. But. Winter is coming, and I have to find a place to sleep. Bear dug a frog-sized hole between two evergreens. Then he tucked frog under a blanket of leaves and pine needles. Thank you, bear. Said frog. See you in spring. Bear leaned against the old oak tree. He stretched and yawned and scratched at his belly. I wonder if Mole is awake. He thought. Mole, are you there? Mole, Mole was already asleep. Good night, Mole," said Bear with a sigh. The first win winter snowflakes began to fall. Many months passed, and the sun returned. It melted the snow and woke the trees. Bear rode out onto the green grass. It's spring, he said. Now I can tell my story. But first, Bear bought Mouse an acorn. Thank you, Bear," said Mouse. Mouse was hungry after a long winter. Welcome home, duck," said Bear. You must be tired after a long journey. Bear showed Duck a shady mud puddle he found. Bear placed Frog in the sunshine till he was warm and awake. Frog opened one eye, then the other. Good morning," said Bear. Bear, Mouse, Duck, and Frog waited all day for Mole to wake up. Finally, Mole poked his nose out into the moonlight. Would you like to hear a story? Said Bear. Bear gathered his friends. He sat up straight and cleared his throat. He puffed out his chest, <clears throat> and with all of friends listening, Bear could not remember his story. It was such a good story," he said, hanging his head. 
But winter is a very long time for a bear to remember. The friend sat together for a quiet minute. Then Mouse said, "Tell me a story about a bear." And Dot said, "Tell me a story about a busy time just before winter." I think there should be more characters in it too," suggested Frog. "Like the mole," said Mole, "and a mouse, and a duck, and a frog." Bear sat up straight again. He cleared his throat <coughs> and puffed. Out his chest, and began his story with. It was almost winter, and the bear was getting sleepy. Thank you, everyone.